Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, this morning again we'll be talking about another common mistake that people make while joining Salah. And this mistake is very common among brothers. So please, for Allah's sake, if you see this video, help me to share it so that other people can benefit from it. And when they benefit, inshallah, you'll be earning your own reward as well. This mistake is common among brothers, brothers as I said. So when you enter the masjid and two people are praying, how do you join the solar? You want to join them? You know, two people are praying, they are going to be beside each other. Because the imam is not allowed to be, uh, the imam is not allowed to be alone while two people are praying, so they have to pray together. And now you being the third person want to join them. How do you join them? You know, the common thing we do is that is either we draw the brother that is with the second person that is with the imam, we draw them. You know, we signify that they should come back. Or other people make a mistake by doing what? By pushing, by tapping the imam to go forward. These two steps are very wrong. They are very, very wrong. And please take note of this. So that is an heart. And as Muslims, we are always going to have an imam or an amir, which is going to be the leader. So while you are joining any solar, the imam is the commander. Is the one dictating the steps, is the one that will determine how long you want the salat to be, is the one that will determine how short you want the salat to be. So when you are joining them, you don't dictate for the commander. You know the military, when they are giving orders, you don't tell them until they finish an act. You know, until they finish the command, they are dishing out to the troops. They, don't, they won't act. They will listen first, and whatever the command he has given to them, they will follow. So while joining Solar, what is the best step for you to do? First of all, you are not allowed to draw the brother back, the brother with the imam. You are not allowed to draw him back. And secondly, you are not allowed to push the imam forward. What is expected for you is that the person is going to be on the right side of the imam. The, what is expected of you joining that Solar is to be at his left hand side. Now listen, you have to go to the left hand side of the imam so the three of you will be on the same role. You get what I'm saying? It is when you join them on the when you stand on the left hand side that the imam who is the commander, he has two options here. He has three options here. He can either use his hand to signify that both of you should go back while he wants to remain on his own spot if 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 there's space at the back. The imam can either signify or use his hand. He can stretch his elbow and signify that okay, you guys go back. I'm staying here. Or the imam can take a step forward. You get what I'm saying? The imam can go forward if he wants to go forward. An imam has the option to stay within the three lines. He can stay there and finish the salah. The most important thing is that is the imam is the one leading the salah. So it is not for us that are joining Salah to signify to the commander who is the imam, who is the leader that go forward. Because by the time you tap the imam, you have in many ways distract his own mind because you have already touched him. This man is reciting the Quran. You have touched him to go forward. He's concentrating in the Salah. His kushu will be affected definitely when you touch him. You get what I'm saying? And also the kushu of the person praying with the imam too will be affected. You will distract them in their Salah. So you don't dictate for the imam that is leading the solar what to do. The brother, who is, the brother with the imam is on the right side. The best thing for you is to be on the left hand side. The three of you will be on the role. Then the imam who is the commander of that solar will determine what he wants to do. He can either determine to go forward. He can either determine that both of you should go back. Use his hand to touch both of you to go back. You get what I'm saying? Or he can decide to be on the spot and finish his solar. You get what I'm saying? So these things are common mistakes that we make in solar. Please, I beg you, help me share this video for others to benefit. You get because this is when they benefit, you too can be any reward. Imagine people see, hearing this for the first time and they also tell people also. You can imagine how you will end so, so massively. See, please, when so the bottom line I'm saying here is that when you join solar, don't touch the imam. Don't touch those who are praying. 
stay on the left hand side of the imam the imam is the commander is the one leading the solar is the one to determine where he wants to be is the one to determine where you guys will be and he can also determine to be on the same spot may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala perfect our solar for us may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us more knowledge of um of our ibadah may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this today's monday may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enrich us may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put barakah in all our endeavors may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us as we go out today as we come back with bismillah as we go bismillah may we come back with alhamdulillah assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh